the meantime, new shelters keep opening up in North Texas. Three are now open in Dallas, and tomorrow a mega shelter opens. Our Sebastian Robertson flew with the Air National Guard today as they brought more evacuees to our area. At 18,000 feet, the crew of the 136 airlift wing are just beginning a mercy mission. Texans helping Texans. Um, like I said, we'll do anything that we can to, to help out. This C-130 from the Naval Air Station in Fort Worth is headed to Galveston to a small municipal airport. On the ground, 161 people left homeless by Hurricane Harvey. Many only bringing the clothes on their back, and most are from Dickerson, one of the hardest hit areas. Yeah, it was really scary. It was very scary. Here's a picture the Glazer family was able to take of their home as they left for higher ground. Soon, they'll leave the Gulf Coast and head to a shelter in Dallas. Hurricane Harvey has proven devastating and unpredictable, too unpredictable to establish shelters locally. That's why city officials asked the National Guard to help fly people out of town. For so many victims that I talked to, the sound inside of this C-130 brings a mixed message with it. It means they'll be out of harm's way, but they won't know when or what they'll be coming back to. By mid-afternoon, the military aircraft is loaded with families who are leaving with their lives, but not much more. I just can't believe this is happening. I'm originally a Galvestonian, and normally Galvestonians say, uh-uh, I'm not leaving this island, you know? <laughs> so, but I, I feel that it's in our best interest. On board, Michelle's daughter, Angela. I've never been on a plane before, and this is my first plane ride. This plane ride isn't a round trip rather a one-way ticket out of harm's way. It's hard because I, I don't know where we're going and um, just trying to go with what we barely have left. By sunset, the military plane touches down at Love Field and soon the passengers will head to shelters in Dallas. They're safe, but can only wonder if they'll see home again. In Dallas, Sebastian Robertson, Channel 8 News.